About 15 years ago, uh, I was a seminarian placed at St. John's uh, in North Thibodeau. And I remember one of the, uh, my summer assignment uh, was myself and another seminarian, we would do door-to-door -door ministry. So basically the script would go is that we, would, we were going to every single door along the highway, uh, just anybody within, that lived within the parish bounds, just asking, number one, if there was anybody that Catholic that was lived there, uh, number two, anybody that had lost track with the Catholic Church, or number three, if anybody had any questions about the Catholic Church. Now, summertime, walking around in khakis in the middle of the, the summer heat or rain or whatever else was waiting for us, um, it was not the most comfortable. But I have to say, it was one of the more humbling experiences I've had as a seminarian or just in ministry in general. I found myself uh, just recognizing that it's a really, really important thing, uh, the missionary activity of the church, where we bring the gospel on the grounds of other people. We, end up, we enter into another arena, into their world, um, with the gospel message. Now, do I think that everyone needs to be doing door-to-door -door ministry? Probably not. But I will say that today, our first reading and our gospel both hint at this move of the missionary being one that goes to uncomfortable places. Needless to say, South Louisiana, dressed up, hot, 100 degrees, sweating, humid, all the beautiful picture that I just painted for you is not the most comfortable situation. But God has continued throughout the course of the history of the church, throughout the course of salvation history, to send missionaries, to send prophets into uncomfortable situations. Amos was not a person that felt qualified. He was a dresser of sycamores, yet he was still sent by the Lord, but sent by Yahweh to be a proclaimer and a prophet to the world. Jesus, he sends out his apostles and he tells them it's not going to be comfortable. Don't bring extra, don't bring this, don't bring that, and go and to proclaim the gospel. And when you do, people will probably reject you. They'll probably push you away. They may even do worse. I, I find that this missionary move of the church is something that Pope Francis and all of our popes in my lifetime have talked about, is that we are called to evangelize. We are called to be sent out. There's a line from St. Francis, that, there's a line that is attributed to St. Francis of Assisi that is, as, as far as my research shows, he's never said, and yet it has become almost the mission statement, a quote unquote mission statement of the Catholic Church. And that is, proclaim the gospel at all times and when necessary, use words. First of all, St. Francis never said this. I know, I'm sorry, it's a shock. You may have heard that he did, but any scholar in, Francis in, in Franciscan history will tell you that he said things maybe like it, but he never said those words. And I think one of the reasons why we've held on to it is because sometimes it can be easier to say my actions proclaim instead of my mouth. It's easier to say I witness, which is a good sentiment, but we are still called to speak. We are still called to share. We are still called to proclaim the gospel, not just by example, but by word as well. You and I, as Christians, as Catholics, we are, we are called to be witnesses in the world. A witness is not somebody who just lives, but someone who's not afraid to speak as well. Think about it this way. When's the last time that in a public setting, in a family setting, we brought up the name Jesus? And yes, just like the prophets of old, just like the apostles in the New Testament, it may be an uncomfortable thing, but we're still called to do it. It's still some, we, we are called to speak about the one that we love. One of my favorite lines in all of mass is the line at the very end, because after we do the final blessing, there's a phrase that this priest says where we say, go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. That's not a suggestion. That's not a, that's not a question. It's a command. It's, a, it's an imperative statement where we are called as the faithful to now go and everything you have received in mass, now go and proclaim it. Go and share it. Go and be witnesses to the gospel that we have proclaimed and that we believe. This Sunday, especially as we, uh, as we come to this beautiful, this beautiful celebration of the liturgy, uh, as we continue uh, to, to, to embrace and open our hearts more fully to the life in the, to a life in the Holy Spirit, may we be bold witnesses who go out and share what we have received.